Hello everyone, this is Spacey Bread here, and today we are going to be creating a game called Bubble Pop using MIT App Inventor 2. Okay, so first, um, you, you got the screen. Now, first, what we want to do is we're going to take off title visible, show status bar, and um, screen orientation to landscape. Okay, so this is how your uh, this thing should look like. Um, now, you, from drawing an animation, you need to drag up one canvas, set height to fill parent, width to fill parent. Now, I'll be providing the assets to this um, uh, this project in the description below. Uh, for now, I'll just be I'll just be doing it straight away. Uh, we're going to choose file. One of them is going to be called backup.jpg. Open it. <laughs> So it's just some notification. Um, then uh, uh, after you do that, your screen should look something like this. Now you want to go to screen one, change the ba uh, background color to gray. It makes this uh, look a lot cleaner. Now using uh, you know you need to drag in one image sprite. Um, set the heading to 90. Set the speed to three. It should be anything between three to um, uh, a four. Um, now change this to one, six, five. Okay. Um, and now change the uh, uh, height to fifty pixels. Fifty pixels. And now picture, there's going to be another f uh, f uh, JPEG in it. So you a PNG file inside it. Called, it's going to be called bubble.png. Open it. Okay. And you should see a bubble. Okay. So you can place it anywhere you want. Um, now using user in, uh, say layout, you want to drag in a horizontal arrangement. Uh, set this height to um, uh, automatic, but the width uh, width to also automatic. Set the background color to gray. Okay, and now using user interface, uh, drag in six buttons: one, two. Three. We'll wait it for because it's going to go out of the screen on a button one. Change the text to four. Okay, and now change the font size to eight, and change the background color to gray. If you want, you can change the text color to white, uh, but it's your choice. So I'm gonna leave it on black. Now for text tool, again change the color to gray this to 8 this to from uh, now it's going to be 0 okay for text uh, the second box it's going to be called text for button 3 uh, set the font size to 8 text to life and then for this one again okay Eight. Uh, this one needs to set on five. Okay. Now we're gonna add two more buttons. This one needs to fit in there, and this one needs to fit in there. Okay. Now set this to eight, and I have nothing in it for now. Nothing in it. Okay. Um, change the background color to gray, obviously. Uh, this one again to it now this one you I think you should leave it on something other than gray so I'm gonna leave it on dark gray and change the default to white this is going to be called set okay so for now uh, your designer view is uh, ready uh, one thing you need to add is a clock okay Okay, so now you want to go into your uh, 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 blocks area. Now I've already set up all the blocks, but I'm going to explain them one by one. 
So first you want to drag in a variable called score. You can do that using variable. Um, I'll, I'll start it by myself. Okay, so this is going to be called this is going to be called score and set the value to zero. Next you want to add another variable and name it to uh, life. From matlock you know add ghetto five. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is the up up uh, the moment what happens when it reaches the top. You you can um I'll be putting a photo with it, but I'll be showing you how to make this entire thing one by one. Uh, uh, step by step. Uh, if you need any help, I also be including a picture a picture of all the blocks um so that it is easier for you to do it. Okay. So, first you want to go to image sprite 1, edge reached, there you go, then go to variables, set, global life to math block, not this one, uh, to this, uh, and get yourself uh, get block minus one okay so this is going to uh, subtract one from your life now this is a uh, easy thing you uh, know the rest of it is quite easy I'll be doing it again um, Okay, change image sprite x to then go to match random integer from 0 to not this but to uh, this and canvas width I can get canvas width like this canvas width 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 width, width to image sprite width and then image sprite one uh set this to y axis coordinate um mat block 165 okay and then uh, set your button five which is your uh, value for your um this value button uh sorry button four sorry button four um is the uh, life value set this to uh take out button four set text to variables get we call it gl uh, global life okay now we want to uh, make it so that when we touch the image by one we get 10 points and uh this thing moves somewhere else so what we we'll do is go to image sprite one, uh, go to touched, then um, we'll copy duplicate this thing, global score, global uh, score, and you can either do to uh, do this. you need to get out um, yes this put the global on this plus change this value to 10 okay this is going to um, increase your um, bubble uh, so your score every single time you but touch it uh, but we want it to when we touch it it goes somewhere else on the screen so for that we're going to duplicate this entire block and place it here and then duplicate this block and paste it right here okay and now we are going to duplicate this paste it right here change this to 2 and change this to score okay so whenever now we touch the bubble while it's coming up this thing will have added 10 plus into it okay so now we have got the touching uh, touching code and the edge reach code 
now we want to make sure that when we reach uh, five lives we can uh, our game stops uh, for that now we want to go down and now we're going to swing on this uh, clock one then clock one time and two mm, and then go to control if math be able global life to go over like to zero then um now you want to make so that everything this thing gets disabled i'm going to do get this enabled and from the logic you want to get one false duplicate and put it right here okay um now we can also uh, make sure that uh, this button which is serves as a key over button uh, uh, acts as a game over button we want to go uh, when remember its number it is button 5 uh, get this block here change this to text and text to Game over. Okay. So now we have got your um. Now when uh, when your life is set to zero, um, uh, if it goes to zero by going up and up and up, the the tech, uh, this the game is going to stop and you are going to have a text on your screen saying game over. Now uh, I made this timer if you remember this time clock timer to inter you have to change this interval to one uh, so that every single millisecond it checks if the global life is equal to zero if you increase the time um, um, this thing um, the inter uh, time interval this is going to result in you having a problem that uh, the life uh, has reached uh, the life has reached zero but the game is still going on okay so this is your um game over mechanism now we also want to make sure that the person is able to reset after he has lost or if he wants to give it over to someone from uh, and start the uh, game again okay so we need to uh, if you remember i put a reset button here it's called uh, it's the button six you go here uh, put it on button six okay and then on button six and then um you want to get these uh set this um man clock to zero so we set on this score duplicate life to five like to five okay um and then we're going to copy this duplicate hit here and put this to Duplicate, put it here and put it on to true. And we're gonna duplicate this and remove all the text. Okay. So when we do this, um, also we know make sure that after we press the reset button, the bubble goes somewhere else on the screen, and if it's at top, it does not go up. So we're gonna. Uh, we're going to uh, copy the x value uh, from the touch one and this. Okay. Uh, so this is the entire code for this uh, game if you ask me it's quite easy um, it took me 15 minutes to make it um, uh, like the se this is the second time I think I'm creating this the third time I guess it, uh, it's going to take you at th like 30 minutes at max um, this is the entire code I will also be putting, uh, putting the image um, in the description um, thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed this tutorial please show to uh, subscribe and like to my channel uh, for more of uh, MIT app inventor content um, uh, goodbye for now see you soon thanks for watching spacey bread app